Hi everyone, I'm Valeria from the Data School Cohort 21. And in this video, I'm going to show you what to do when your line chart labels don't seem to fit. Here's a simple line showing total monthly sales. I want to show the sales amount for the latest month. So I'll go ahead and switch mark labels on and I'll select most recent mark for the table. I also want to make sure my labels always appear to the right of the mark. So I'm going to set the alignment to right and center. Okay, great. So it looks exactly how I'd like it to, but when I look at that sheet on the dashboard, for some reason, <laughs> the labels don't want to stay where I've put them and overlap all the line. So how can I fix this? Well, one way to deal with this is to add an invisible reference line that will expand our data axis. Let me just show that head up for a bit more clarity. Essentially, what I'm going to do is add a reference line to the right of my current latest date, maybe a month or two later. And so the axis will have to expand, but the sales line will stay where it is and then the label should fit properly. What I don't want to do is manually fix the axis because I want the solution to stay dynamic and still work when more sales data comes in for the following months. So to create a reference line, I will need to write a calculation first. I'm going to call this max date reference line. And what I want Tableau to do is find the current maximum date in the view and add a month to it. So I'm going to say window max, max order date. And I need the second max because window max is a table calculation and table calculations require all fields to be aggregated. And then I'm going to use a date add function to add one month to it. So again, what this is doing is it's finding the latest date in the view and then it's adding one month to it. I hit OK and I'll make that field a date rather than daytime. And I'll go ahead and drop it on detail. I will make it continuous and I'll also check that it's being computed using order date. And then I can go into the analytics pane, grab a reference line and drop it onto the month field for the whole table. In the configuration window, I'll set the value to be that max date reference line. And then I'll switch off the label, switch off the tooltip and the line itself. And when I hit OK, I have a completely invisible reference line. I know it's still there when I hover over it, but no one else can see it and it's done what I needed. So I can hide the axis again. And when I go back to the dashboard, I can see that my sales park line looks much better. Let's just have a look at a slightly different scenario. Let's say I want to show the label for the month with the highest profit rather than the latest month. So I'll go and change this to min and max and just show the maximum value. And I'd like that label to appear above the mark. Again, everything looks great on the sheet, but it gets squished on the dashboard. So Let's create another reference line. I'm going to add a new calculators field and I'm going to call this one max profit reference line. And in this case, we want to expand the Y axis. So I'm going to say, find the window max sum of profit and multiplied by 1.1. Hit OK and 
drop that field onto the detail and just check that it's being computed using order date. And then we can grab another reference line and drop it onto the profit field. Again, I'll use that new calculation for my value and I'll switch off all the visible elements. And that's it. I've got that invisible reference line on the top. And if I look on the dashboard, the profit spark line looks much better too. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this tip will help you make your charts a little bit cleaner and more legible. Check the description for links to additional materials. And if you enjoyed watching this, check out my colleague Jonathan's tutorial on creating reference boxes on scatter plots. Hit the link on the screen to watch it next.